Oh, they can hear us on the Starting Series. Hey. 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 Hello. That's what I'm talking oh. about. All right. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> oh, the base. We did it. Hey. All right. So it was. I will. Hey, I'm going to say this. It was OBS's fault in a no way, Jens. This was yep. this was all mean, right. mean boy tech. And you know what you all are? Witnesses for the class action lawsuit that we <laughs> and News Channel 6 will be investigating on this. You know what that was? Yeah. Homophobia. It won't happen <laughs> yeah, again. Absolutely. Not this one. <laughs> it said, we heard Jed went on a date with the lady and we are not happy. So, all right. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all a million times over. Clearly, I don't need to go into what my big mistake was because you just witnessed it. You were part of it. Quickly, please introduce yourselves, your pronouns, and uh, no side stories. We gotta, we'll got we get right into this. And uh, Graham, let's start with you. We'll go clockwise. Okay. Uh, my name is Graham. I uh, also know as PSC Gamer Online. My pronouns are he, him. Uh, we are playing Fiasco tonight, which she is being uh, modeled fantastically there. And I am playing the character of Sean LaJohnston, your eye in the sky. Heck yes. Leon. Hi, my name is Leon Barrelero. My pronouns are they, them, or he, him. And I am playing the videographer by the name of Oliver Clips. Oh my Ooh, God. Oliver Clips. <laughs> All right. Katie. Hi, I'm Katie May. I use she, they pronouns. Um, I'm not talking about the time I almost choked to death while playing Sharpay Evans. And tonight I will be, pl I realize I don't, I am, I guess your lead anchor because we don't have a lead anchor. So I guess I'll, I, I will be your lead anchor. I don't have a name for her. So right now it is Natasha Bedingfield. I'm locking it in. No relation <laughs> to the actual Natasha Bedingfield. Have to clarify, but All right. Jen, let me know that that'll get you in trouble legally, but I think we're good. Uh, I think we're, no, I you're think good. We're uh, yeah. Benningfield or Benningfield? I'm sorry. I'm not as cool as... Uh, it's uh, Natasha Benningfield. Yes. Natasha Benningfield. Okay. And it doesn't matter, actually, because I don't care anymore. Uh, but, Jaslyn, we can't... Your audio is being recorded as early, uh, broadcasted as well. <laughs> um, oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm no. eating potatoes. And Goodbye I do, forever. And I do, Thank you. I do care. I just meant nothing anyone does will ever be as amazing as a 30 minute intro. Okay. Uh, so if you are Natasha Bennett Bennington, I, as your pretend family, I must be Lydia B for Bennington ben and everyone. Ben and everyone. Yes. Yes. But I, I do you I, want to be the betting fields or the betting terms? Oh, Bennington. I'm sorry. Betting fields. Okay. So I'll do whatever I, I decided on our last name for us on accident. So if no, no, you no. want to be Bennington, I will be there Bedding with you. Bedding Fields is way better. It sounds okay. way better. Okay. All right. So everyone here, no one has played this game before but me, which is great. Um, and I've never operated a camera or microphone. Sorry, I'll stop. Um, so in this game, and for those of you who haven't played before, um, or this is your first time watching, we are playing Fiasco. Fiasco is a wonderful game um, full of uh, RPG fun, basically. So it, it takes away most of the math of uh, regular role-playing games. And we are actually all playing the game. We're all characters, as we've just introed. Uh, and we will be setting scenes. There are usually... Uh, Everyone will get two scenes per act, and it, when it is your turn to have a scene, you can choose to either establish it, to create the scene and say who else you want to be in it, um, or you can choose the outcome. You can say if it's going to end positively or negatively for your character. And that doesn't mean that like you can't get, say, uh, you could break your leg, but it could be, you know, there could be like a hungry fireman or something that picks you up. And it's, you know, so technically it ends positively um, for you. Uh, so, uh, but if you, no matter what you choose, if you choose to establish or if you choose the uh, outcome, uh, the rest of the people playing Fiasco would get to do the rest. So if you have a very good idea of what you would like to do, what you would like to be uh, in this game, or sorry, um, what you'd like to do starting off, we can start with your scene. I also do not mind uh, like going myself. Uh, so again, this this is also we're playing News Channel Six. So uh, it is uh, to set the scene. We are in a small. We're the we're in last place in a small TV market, and Action News Eleven is eating our lunch. Sometimes literally, um, those bastards what? are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they prank us so hard. Um, yeah, there was one step ahead and we are losing ground. And this quote 
Shit ass little town doesn't have enough news for one station, let alone two. So between our own infighting and some bad decisions in management, uh oh, the betting fields. <laughs> Things are looking grim. So does anyone have a scene that they would like to establish or would they just like to go first? I Staff meeting under management. Ha ah, okay. Ooh. Okay. Um staff meeting under new management. Okay. Uh, who would you like to be in that scene with you, with uh, Shawn Johnston? I I think we're all there because we're we're we're, we're all finding out what's going on and Ooh. and and what the plan for taking down Action Eleven News is. Okay, all right. So, uh, Katie and Leon, just so you know, that means uh, a couple minutes into the scene, we will choose how we want this outcome to go for technically Shawn Johnston, since it is Graham's character. So, um, all right, we can just um. Okay. Uh, uh, greetings, greetings. I am Lydia B. Oh, and thank you, News Channel 6, for showing up to this all hands. Uh, please, my sister, Natasha, would you please? Yes, yes, yes. You do you want me to come stand up in the front of the room or do you want me to stay back here like with the people? Oh, no, no, no. Please just come here. That's why we put you on a desk. Okay. I'll join and... you up in the front. Yes. I'll join you at the front. Um, Hey, hello everyone. Um, we're all here today to discuss the super unfortunate passing of Mama Bedingfield. So long may her soul rest forever. But, oh, sorry, moment of silence. Too long. Too long. But what this means is a brighter tomorrow for the people of Channel News 6. Um, so with that, that does mean that um, my sister and I are sort of head honchos now, which uh, is going to come with a few changes. Do you want to get into that, sister? Oh, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Rick, you're off the desk. You're off the main desk. Rick, get out of here. Yeah, nobody liked you. It smelled like hair cream. Like the old and kind. That's the like kind the of... <laughs> Positive changes that we're talking about. Positive mm -hmm. changes to our workplace. Mm -hmm. um, Do you want to tell them the next thing? Yeah, I would love to. <laughs> when it comes to paychecks, mm. you know, we, 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 I think as a company have been so focused on when is my next paycheck mm. and mm. not so much when is our next big news break. Mm -hmm. And I just want to talk about just like a shift of mindset. Um, so as long as we're all clear with that, uh, that does mean we're going to a tri-weekly sort of paycheck thing. Um, but the amount will still be saying the same. Are we all clear on that? So I just have a quick question there uh, yeah, for yeah, either Natasha up? or Lydia. Would you be able to tell us what exactly did happen to Mama Bettingfield? Because she seemed to be doing quite well last time she was in the station. Sean, great question. Sean, mm. Sean first. Mm, yes, thank you for asking. Yes, thank you. That's a beautiful question. Um, uh, Just a quick sidebar. Yes, yes. Uh, so, uh, one it's, moment, there's Sean. Only, there's, only, there's only so much we can legally share. Yeah, I mean, with the lawsuit still going on, it's, it's going to be best for us yes, to fight. Yeah, we were to be in litigation. Okay. Um, all right. Um, it um, was, you know what? Let's go same time. All right. One, two, One, three. two three. It was a bad, was bad cruise. Crash. <laughs> <laughs> a bad cruise crash, as you would call it. Yes, yes. So, uh, you know, uh, yes. out to sea. Remember out to me. heaven. Yes, yes. yes um, um, and uh, yes, someone, uh, was it you? Uh, Eclipse, you were asking about healthcare, and we are doing some changes to it. Uh, it's more of like uh, we will give you a couple lunchtime yoga breaks, and that'll basically be the healthcare. So maybe I case. want less emphasis on healthcare and more emphasis on self care. That, Am I right? Yes, you know how to do you best. So and remember, the bigger the breaks, the more cash we bring in. Uh, no more all. <laughs> So it's probably fair to say this scene isn't going to go well for Sean the Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, we kind of, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Or just like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. It is it is it is it is not going well for Sean the Johnson. It's, <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah. Okay. 
So I'm going to deal what is known as a, a, <laughs> a negative card to you. Uh, it will show up on roll 20 next to your name. POC Gamer. Boom. Um, and that is for later. Um, when we, uh, after we do a couple more scenes. And actually, we need to draw a couple more. There, are So there are a couple. That was a great scene, by the way. Thank you. Um, in your hand, you have a couple cards. So if you will click on the number above you. Oh. So we have, some of you have a location. Some of you have an object. And some of you have needs. So what we need is one location, one object, and two needs. One location, one object, mm -hmm. and two needs. So I'm showing off a location right now on the air, six Tuesdays, <laughs> News Channel 6, today's friendly morning show set. So that's when we can involve in the show or we can choose someone else's location. And you can drag it out by clicking and dragging it onto the board. And then you can uh, then you uh, click with your cursor to make it a little bit bigger too. Uh, okay, we're, we're doing location right now. Yeah. My location is incredibly cursed, so probably not mine. My location is uh, human interest at the hospital for a live on the air colonoscopy. So. Oh, yeah. No, we, we do not want that. Okay, so not that one. All right. Okay, great. I I don't have a location. That's okay. That's okay. I just, I dealt them out randomly. So um, do we want, we also have big sinkhole behind Buddy's garage. Do we want to do that? Oh. That <laughs> seems... Sleep safer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like we're talking about holes either way. So yeah, it's really yeah. Let's, we'll just put that. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> and uh, the here's the thing: we don't we don't have to use the location as like the pivotal moment, but it will just have it show up. It's sort of to inform some more of our uh, storytelling. So, all right. Who has uh, an object? Leon, do you have an object? I I have a really cool object, actually. I have uh, I have tools of the trade, Sky Chopper Six. <gasps> oh well, clear. Yes, there it is. All right, that one. Yeah. My singular object was the sex tape to end all sex tapes. Ooh, so sorry, I thought I removed all. The <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of great draws here today. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm I'm like I was like, how can I make Katie's day more? as spicy as possible yeah yeah okay so now we're gonna have two needs um and again anyone can use these needs uh graham is there one that you have in your uh hand that you'd like to use well let's see here uh oh yeah that's a good one there we go make make a difference Ooh. can't mm. remember by blowing the lid off the whole story. <gasps> the secret behind the secret. Okay. Can I can I complement that with the other? Are we doing two needs, right? Yeah, two needs based on how many players are here. Yeah. Here we go. Need to settle things by putting those bastards at Action News 11 in their g dang place. Mm -hmm. And their gall darn. And their and buddy's they... garage hole place. Yes. Exactly. All right. Man, sorry, it looked like you were gonna say something. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's just gesticulating. Okay. <laughs> I'm on board. All right. Okay. Heck so yeah, yeah, we had our opening scene. Um, all right. So who would like to go next? Does someone have some a scene that they would like to establish? Or do you just want to be the center of attention? Although that, technically the last one was a lot of me and Katie. Or... <laughs> I can take it. All right. Yeah, sure. All right, cool. I want to uh, keep uh, Clips and Le Johnston behind after the group meeting. Oh, okay, okay. Um, okay. All right. Uh, and then we'll see how this resolves. Um, I would like to, uh, I, I want to keep them in the, same, in the same office as we were for this big uh, all hands on deck. Um, I think there are still donuts and mimosas on the table, as provided by me <laughs> to announce the passing of Mama Bedingfield. Um, but I... There's just at all passing. I sort of hold you two uh, back, and I'm like, okay, so you two are two of our most prevalent and most powerful voices of truth here at News Channel 6. 
And uh, what my sister and I are interested in is sort of finding out who at this company is great at finding the truth of a story or, you know, making a big story splash. And we want to promote them and value them and uplift them. Um, but it's really a question of who it is. Now, um, my sister has chosen two people that she thinks is going to get the job done, and I've chosen two people who I think are so going to get the job done. And what we've done is we've taken out a tenth of Sweet Mama Bettingfield's uh, will cash money, um, and we've set it aside for the team who sort of performs the best and gets us the best story that we need. Um, we're talking. We're talking around rough roughly uh, 75,000 hard ones that you can split. But with the, the money incentive being this high, I'm going to need the story to be that powerful. Are we sort of on the same page? I think that we are. However, there's not a lot of big news that isn't already being covered by those. Well, I don't want to say it online. I don't want uh, you to say it in, in this building, air. frankly. Johnston. Yeah, I don't want to hear their names. We need to cover things better. I agree. So, ideas? I'm I hearing might, them. I might have a, a story. Um, well, see, <clears throat> Channel 11 News says that um, there are raccoons behind the Albertsons that are, uh, you know, digging into digging into the trash behind the Albertsons. Raccoons um, are fun. You know what's more fun? Sinkholes. Especially when you take a helicopter, <laughs> fly it over a sinkhole, and see what's at the bottom by lowering somebody down. I think that's our best plan to go forwards. You want to get a man in the ground, man in the sinkhole. Now, yes. let me, I'm, I'm trying to combine both truths here. Is there any way we can get the Albertsons raccoons into the sinkhole? Well, see, here's here's what I think, is I, um, I was going to ask you for one of those headlamps that I could put on my head so I could go out and film it because I think that I think that the raccoons might be from the single. It's entirely possible. I'm going to go check the helicopter. I'll yeah, be go right check the back. helicopter, LeJohnston. I want you flying soon. All right. Now, uh, let's, talking about those raccoons, why do you think they're going to be the, the big story? Well, everybody thinks that raccoons are, they do what they do. But I, um, <clears throat> when I was in school, um, really, that was, that was the only thing that I filmed anyway. And um, I didn't do so that. I... School, I, that just wasn't my thing. Keep it oh, oh, no, that's, um, well, what I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I've, I've looked at a lot of raccoons, right? I've got a lot of B-roll of raccoons and I've got a, Got a lot of pictures of raccoon tracks, and I just, I don't think that the raccoons are doing it. I think that there's some kind of connection that Channel 11 is just too too lazy, or, well, too Channel 11 to, to look into, you know what I mean? Right. So, what do you think these raccoons are actually up to? Well, well that's why I need the headlamp, so I can, because raccoons only come out at night, and I can't uh -huh. see at night, so... Uh -huh. I have to, yeah, I kind of need the equipment. And I know, I know that the chopper is like expensive and cool and probably better for looking at the sinkhole. <laughs> I know. What I'm, what I'm actually most, uh, I, I'm most wanting to know right now is you can walk to behind the alleyway at an Albertsons. What kind of angle are you trying to get with the helicopter? <laughs> and I think that's the scene right there. <laughs> Sorry, there were like four times where I was like, oh, um, excellent. So I think that went, Leon, for Katie's character, for Natasha, I feel like it was po po positive, right? Like mul I, multiple. I think she got a story, yeah. Yeah, multiple ideas happening too. Um, Oliver Clips clearly doing the work there uh, to get that. Um, okay, so I will deal one positive card to you. Katie? Thank you. Thank you. Well, there you go. I hope, I hope uh, Natasha's uh, picked the right people to get the job done. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. Uh, Leon, would you like to establish a scene or be the star uh, or um, choose your outcome? Hmm. You can also continue this scene, too. Um, or you can you can do a time jump, too. Uh, sort of up to you. Like, maybe uh, if you feel that Natasha is not bending to your will you could bother uh uh lydia or sean and try to get them on your side yeah there's or it could just be you filming 
raccoons. <laughs> I hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I I would like to see something. I would like to choose an outcome for Oliver. I want things to go poorly. I want things to go poorly for him. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Is there anything else that I have to? No, okay. no. I'm just going to actually give you a negative card right now. Wait, this <laughs> this rule. I can literally just say, "F me up," and then we get to do it. Yeah, fuck me up, Baba. Yes, the rule. All right. So, so that means it's on Jen and I, right? Yeah, and I, it's got to be raccoon based, right? Like, oh, for tr- sure. Trouble at the raccoon trouble cave? parlor. Uh, uh, parlor boudoir. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so we're talking the location is the Albertsons. Yeah, the alley behind the, the Albertsons. Alley behind, which is technically the dumpster, right? Do you think they've like yeah. a Oh, do you think there's enough room for a human to get into that dumpster too? Like they've created like a a hard packed little cavern inside there? Oh yes. I think I want to meet someone. Uh oh. I think I think who I think there there is someone that I want to meet. Uh, here at the top of the scene. And I don't know uh, if uh, Clips sees them, but I think that um, what we see is... Um, thank you, Jenny, if you'll be the raccoon. I'm, thank yeah, you. I'm the raccoon. Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> thank you. I think we see someone come out into the alleyway on with a, uh, with a pharmacist's jacket. Uh, and... <laughs> I think there are a bunch of little chopped up cheese cubes that look like little samples on uh, on this like sample plate that people stand by at Albertsons. And I think the pharmacist comes out all, all sketch looking, kind of gives two cursory looks down the alleyway, making sure he's alone with the raccoons. And then slides this tray table down on the ground towards them. And when the and when the and when the tray is slid towards the raccoons, for the first time we are able to look at these small tiny cubes of cheese. And we see the pharmacist has placed a single pill in each one of the cheese cubes. What pill is in the cheese cube? We don't know yet. <laughs> we just don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Leon what you walk into. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh raccoon just stuffing their mouth full of cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, um I'm holding my camera. Uh, yeah. Who Hello? I was just putting the Albertsons trash out. Goodbye! <laughs> the no, 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 Slams no, no. the door back on the Albertsons. Hang slams the stuff behind him. I, I look from like the raccoon to the Albertsons door to the raccoon to the Albertsons door and then I like kind of like move my camera so that it's it's panning towards the raccoon as I'm running to the Albertsons door <laughs> like shaky cam on the raccoon and I start banging on the door like hey no 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 you don't get to do that you don't you don't you don't get to do that sir the pharmacist opens his door you a cop <laughs> do I look like a, do I look like a cop the door slams again <laughs> no uh, I'm not a cop the the raccoon uh, starts oh, oh, and then like uh, like a a tall pine <laughs> spelled by a lever just starts <laughs> against the concrete and is just like passed out and kind of like twitching a little leg and scene. <laughs> or, sorry, do you, sorry. Well, we'll let you do one more. What you? Oh, you oh yeah, because you resolve. So what's the? Yeah, sorry, bad yeah, you resolve actually. So yeah, you can. You did choose negative. So well, yeah, what's Oh, I think, um, I think I like, I'm probably like 
first of all, I shut my camera off because I don't want to, I don't want to film this poor raccoon suffering. But then when I go back and I look at any of this, this stuff, it's all super shaky and totally unusable. <laughs> I might get, I might have like the audio of this, this pharmacist going, are you a cop? But that's, <laughs> I might have like a couple of like shots of a raccoon spitting stuff out, but that's it. That, that audio is going to become the cornerstone of the entire report now, though. <laughs> You a cop? No. All right. <laughs> all right. Um. Excellent. Very good job. You too. Um. All right. So last is uh, Lydia's scene, and uh, I'm gonna assume that uh, because she's highfalutin, that she's a uh, she's washing uh the chopper. Um. Or, or no, she's sorry. She's making several attractive people wash the chopper for her. Um, and watching and sipping a mimosa. Uh, and that's uh, when uh, I would love to have uh, Shauna Johnson come in and like uh, to this scene and like, you know, obviously be upset because, you know, that's your What baby. on earth is happening to my helicopter right now? Ooh, Raphael, it looks so good. Yes, no, but there is some grime underneath. Why are there so many people cleaning the helicopter? These people aren't even helicopter qualified. I don't see any of the helicopter qualification union badges on them. What Heli is going on here with my precious helicopter? Helicopter qualified? Look at their symmetry on their faces. That's all you need. That's the only card you need. Um, I put a little uh, smiley face out of studs on the window, on the front window. Oh, Raph. Oh, I love it. Now, may, now may, clean it up with your shirt. Yes, very good. Very good. <laughs> Miss Bettingfield, this is not how helicopters are maintained. What is even happening here? Where is the crane for lowering people into things? The, for lowering people into things? What are you lowering? Well, yes. Do you, for the news. For the news? You do that? That sounds yes. fascinating. <laughs> Can you, would you show me some? Oh, and also, sorry, I established the scene. So at some point, yeah, you all can choose how it goes too. Or, or yeah. Okay, sorry. Um, you know what? Absolutely, Lydia. We can totally show you how that operates. In fact, we need somebody with your caliber of news reporting ability mm -hmm. and natural mm -hmm. magnetism to check out this raccoon-filled sinkhole <laughs> that we've uh, decided to do news coverage on. I don't think there's a single person in the station more qualified or more pretty than you for this particular job. Oh, thank you. Uh, please. Um, the P word. <laughs> what am I, a peasant? Um, no, uh, but uh, isn't Oliver in charge of uh, all animal and ruffian related? activity oliver is also our top top photographer her ability with a camera is above par in every single way hey, and believe you me if you go down to that sinkhole filled with raccoons and she's the person filming it there is no better tape that will ever be produced no better uh slice that you'll be able to show to people in hollywood to show that you are not only capable amazing and beautiful as the one that she will film Thank you, thank you. Uh, Oliver goes by he, him, but I, I, okay, let's go do this. Let's go to the chopper. And that's probably where the scene ends. So like, yeah, like everyone throws their suds and their like their mop cloths and whatever they were doing. <laughs> so, so, sorry about that, Leon. No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> I've never said so. <laughs> okay. Um, I think it's a negative outcome because I think what you didn't see was Raph, the, the, the person in charge of cleaning your helicopter, unplug something <laughs> to plug in your uh, essential oil diffuser in the helicopter. Absolutely <laughs> lavender for days. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. All right. I'll deal that one. Okay. And so now we get to do another set of scenes. And again, we can continue. Uh, what we're and uh, yes, don't forget that we have we are using our tool of the trade, uh, Sky Chopper Six. We are investigating, um, you know, Buddy's garage, and we also have these two needs as well. So, again, you do not have to uh, fold these into your scene, but you can it helps you think about them. And we don't have to stop from the start from the top as well. Um, anyone can go. Like we don't have to do. It's not like combat rounds. So, um, I'll pull. I'll pull Lydia in. Let's let's do a scene for me, and I want I want Lydia in here. Okay. I think it's the next morning. Oh, okay. So I, I, did we did we go out in the? Did I get to go out in the chopper, or is it was it is it the plan? 
Oh, you tell me. You tell me. We'll, we'll find out in the scene. Yeah, we'll yeah. Find no, out well, in the no, scene. no, no, because we want Graham in the chopper at some point. Or, uh, um, Sean. So, yeah, it's just about, okay. Yes, sister. 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 sister, sister. Honestly, I think the matching haircuts were, like, cherry on top. Oh my gosh. And we have the same rouge, which everyone still uses. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah. uh, apple cheek babies over here. We need to talk about <gasps> yes. a baby sized problem. Mm -hmm. Mama Beddington. Beddingfield. <laughs> Whatever. Our no, because we have is. to talk about two baby sized problems. Oh no. Um, we'll talk about the We'll talk about Mama, Sweet Mama after. But I do want to mention so we were. Uh, my, my team, uh, Clips and Johnston, were all sort of really on board with like a raccoons in a sinkhole story that we were going for. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that the raccoons weren't in the sinkhole. So I was like, you know what? I'll manage that. I, I you know, I want to pull my weight on this team. You, yes, you're always so good at managing things. You see things you. other Thank people you. do not want to see. So what? Thank you. But what about me? Well, well, you said you would you would get your team together, and then they would sort of fight for the biggest story. And then, since they were so fueled by the heart of the competition, they would you know we'd both we'd have two great stories. I said that. Hmm. Were we? Yeah, I think we both said it. Do we? Yes, but I my team is also the Johnston and Clips. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, that's who I've recruited. That's no, that's who I recruited. I pulled them into a room. Oh well, I mean, uh, did they tell you? I they was would even take calling them. them we know I had a folder named the Clipston. It was great. Oh, well, that's funny because I had clips of John Stone. You know, like okay. Um, well, then this is a this is a problem for the both of us because uh, I I paid a man five hundred dollars to move the raccoons <laughs> from the, the alley at the Albertsons into the sinkhole, and he showed up dead this morning. So now oh, that oh, both well, of us, that's both sounds, of us. That sounds like a Natasha problem. Oh no, because they're both on my team. So this is a betting Ma field. Ma'am. Oh, uh, ma'am? Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, ma yes, uh, yes, uh, come in. Uh, hi, ma'am. Um, I'm, uh, I'm Cletus. I uh, work front desk. And uh, I Cletus was just wondering, uh, yeah, um, I was just wondering, um, there's a fellow out here with a note uh, that just mm -hmm. has a strange raccoon drawn on it. <laughs> um, oh, that would be for me, yes. And uh, yeah, he's just kind of alarming. Mm. Alarming. Mm. Yeah, a bit weird. Hmm. <laughs> Well, uh, well uh, uh, um, okay, well, uh, I guess uh, we'll handle this. Yes, yeah. Lydia, you and I will both go together. We'll talk about this. That, we'll talk that, about this uh, that, strange. That, that would be fantastic. I'm, I'm just going to let you two deal with this raccoon-related thing. Thank you, Cletus. And, uh, yes, yes, because we are sisters, and we know how to deal with things <laughs> together. Yes, we're capable sisters who've been dealing with things together since we were we clawed since, our ways out of the wombs. Womb. Yes, the wombs. Yes, since womb, the wombs. Womb, womb. <laughs> not singular. Oh, Sorry, boy. not plural. Singular I mean, yes, womb. Yes, yes. Separate to times, clarify. of course. Yes, I'm young. Separate times, but mm -hmm. still yeah. a singular womb. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I, absolutely, ma'ams, ma'am. Ma mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going over here. <laughs> All right. Thank you, thank you Cletus. <laughs> uh, no, please leave the apartment, Cletus. <laughs> <laughs> Cletus, please go. That's, that's probably a good, good ending. <laughs> okay, that's right? great. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it there. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, we could role play forever. It's fine. <laughs> no problem. Uh, I'll take a negative. I don't think this is possible. <laughs> uh, yeah, your guys should. Oh, wait, you guys death. decide. You resolve it. I, oh, I said it, so you yeah. resolve. I mean, yeah, we also, you found out that your team was also my team. We're that wasn't there. great. I didn't love that. <laughs> I didn't love that. That was a, that was a big L. Did we did we pitch the same stories to both of you? <laughs> That's uh, a great question. Mm, mm. Yeah, basically. Um, Katie also took all the other players in the game, or, Lid or <laughs> Natasha did. So <laughs> that was I was like, well, you know what? There we go. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> oh. <sighs> okay. Um, sorry. Did someone? I sorry. I. I'm always like, I can go, but like, if someone else like has something, like, they wanna, we good? Okay. Um, have, have we got any positive outcomes yet? <laughs> yes, we did. We did. Oh, good, uh, good. Katie got one positive, which does mean, yes, there are only um, four of each. Um, uh, so yeah, the rest will have to be positive, actually. Mm. That's how the math works. Um, um, okay, well, um, I would uh, like to set up a scene in here 
where we are so so that we planned this big story with the always you know the um the raccoons uh the sinkhole but we have to do uh the regular news as well um some like uh, man on the street stuff and like so like the, the big story is planned for like maybe the next day um mm-hmm. and so uh, we are actually uh uh like you know doing the news uh today uh getting out doing some prep work so uh Maybe everyone can be in the scene a little bit. Um, obviously, Katie, or sorry, Natasha, you are at the desk. Graham, you are in your chopper. Uh, Oliver, you are somewhere with your... Probably on the, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I could be in the chopper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And yeah, so I'm, I'm at the little producer's booth. Um, yeah, and uh, is and uh, uh, maybe uh, you are on, uh, ooh, Oh, I know what it is. It's okay. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, signal the the Chiron. Did I say that right? Who knows? Um, the little scroll thing at the bottom, and it says the hunt for black and white tail. Um, and it's um uh and 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 Q, uh, Q Natasha, and then the quotes that say uh raccoons wear underwear. Ha ha. Made you type that under you know and it. Okay, yes. <laughs> Are we live? And you're live. All right. Welcome back, Channel News 6 here at your nightly edition. Today, raccoon, sorry, black and black and white. We, the, the teleprompter's going too fast. You've got to, you've got to slow it down. This, just, this just in tonight, raccoon chaos everywhere. But most importantly, the holes that you aren't looking in. Tonight, I am joined by our reporters in the sky to talk about an issue you never thought was coming. We are dealing with a terrible, terrible onslaught of giant, intimidating holes, and you wouldn't believe what's inside them. Please, yeah. Uh, on the- <laughs> <laughs> more on the story over to Le Johnston in the sky. Le Johnston, I in the sky, tell me more. Hello, Natasha. This is uh, this is Sean LeJohnston, your eye in the sky for Channel 6 News. We are currently hovering above what is possibly the deepest sinkhole this town has ever seen, which opened up directly behind into this small garage here. Now, we're not sure what caused it, and in fact, I don't think anybody knows how sinkholes actually occur. We do, however, know that there are raccoons nearly everywhere, and they are slowly moving towards it for reasons that can't be explained by man or science. I'm More- sorry, could you just, could you just, like... Move. I'm. I'm sorry. I, a little bit to the left. To the. I'm trying to get the. Turn around. Look. Oh, you want me to look down to the hole? Absolutely. Look at, look at the. So. Sean, look at. No, no, no. Did you see that? Did you see that in the hole? Zoom in. Oh, zoom well, in, Oliver. Zoom in. Hang zoom on. in on the we'll, hole. Uh, bring, we'll circle the helicopter around. We have something new and exciting happening here. Here, live on your Channel 6 News. That's right. Channel 6 News, the superior channel for news over Action 11, who are not covering this sinkhole at all. No, and no, they're like... covering the earthquake. Okay, yes, go. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe it's seen, maybe no. <laughs> okay, so we're like hovering over the... I'm going to guess that's a negative for me. No, that's a positive. I mean, we covered yep. the hole. We covered I mean, the hole. <laughs> we got yes. a story out. Yeah, we are in There's... the hole. We are investigating the hole. We there are. was footage. There was something happening. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Excellent. Okay. Who would like to go next? You can also continue the scene, too. I was just... I didn't want it to... Um, I think I think it should be someone in the helicopters yes. uh, in the helicopter scene as something goes wrong around the the, the pit. Ooh. Yeah, I think that um, I think that what Oliver was seeing was some kind of uh, abnormal raccoon activity around the sinkhole. Um, I'm not I'm not entirely sure what. Aside uh, from the ritualistic circle they uh, did around. Ritual, the yeah, the yeah, weird yeah. ritualistic <laughs> like, raccoon yeah. circle. There's like six of them. Mm-hmm. They're they're there in the sinkhole. Okay. So okay. Do, do you do you want to set a resolve? Um. No, I think I think everyone else should. Yeah, should we resolve. can. Yeah, but I so I will say. Are we gonna have Oliver, like being lowered in that like, weird I swinging think he, cage? Like that's what Oliver's like. Let me down. This is my time. Okay. All right. All right, Oliver. It's up to you. It's time for you to go down into that hole. Be brave. Be fast. Be smart. It's safe, right? You you think it's 
Is there anything that we've ever done in this helicopter been unsafe? Well, I just want to know, like, the last time it was cleaned, the people who have the certification cleaned it, right? No, they did not. But we're here now, and we're going to be live in about 10 seconds. So we need it to make smells it like lavender. Lavender. Oh, And why does everything nice. smell like lavender? It's also kind of a little bit slick, too. It's hard I'm to a little... hold on to the controls. Well, I'm freaking out, but I'm a little calm. I think that's the lavender. But and I... three... And that's why Mother's Day could be more deadly than you think. One. Back to Sean LeJohnston over the pit. Sean! Hello, this is Sean LeJohnston, your eye in the sky, currently circling over what is a raccoon-filled pit. In fact, a sinkhole going extremely deep down. We are about to lower our camera cameraman, Leon, or correction, um, Oliver oh. Clips, into... <laughs> This hole. Why? Because Oliver is that sort of brave individual who is going to go down there for the story. We've got him strapped in, in, and we are beginning the lowering process now. Bear in mind that we got this device for lowering people, not raising them. So getting Oliver back up <laughs> will be an adventure in and of itself. Well, <laughs> hang on! <laughs> I think he's screaming as he's being lowered. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. I assume it's not a gentle, it's sort of like a, an elevator ride drop a little bit. So it kind of, kind of jerks a couple times and then goes slow and then just starts to do a little more free fall. But Oliver's pointed his camera down. So like on the screen, it looks like you're just <laughs> Yeah. Clips, oh. we managed to mic you before you went down. Tell us a bit about what you're looking at. Well, Natasha, it looks to me like there are six raccoons, and they are doing some kind of... Is that the Macarena? Um... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you confirm that all of those raccoons are standing on only their hind legs? Yes, all six raccoons are standing on only their hind legs. They're putting their hands out and then flipping their hands... Then yeah, that is undoubtedly playing. a Macarena. I'm seeing that here in the studio now. Yes. Okay. I think we're going to need a panoramic shot. I'm just going to rotate the helicopter here, <gasps> try to stay still, and hold on to the subject. These clips stay still. These people, the people at home, need to know what you're seeing. Uh, well, <laughs> now they have formed a line, putting their tiny little raccoon paws on each of their shoulders, and now that goodness, that is a conga. I'm sorry, does, I've never seen raccoons doing a conga line in a pit before in my life. Do, th ask the raccoons, is this their home? Excuse, excuse, excuse me, um, yes, you, can you, um, do you live here? Is this your, maybe, do they understand that? Oh, they totally do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clips, can you confirm that you have made contact with the raccoons? I think I've just become an honorary raccoon. That is the kind of outstanding Great work, that Clips. Makes, uh, that makes Channel 6 your news source in this town. That means Channel 6 is now your only certified raccoon news source. Clips, I'm going to need you down there with an interview. Get down on the ground. Tell us what's happening. All right, Clips. Brace for impact. We're going to lower you towards the side of the tree hole, <laughs> grab onto some roots, and we'll hover. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure I saw this in a movie last time we did the helicopter thing. Don't yes, worry. Just do it like Tom Cruise would. <laughs> It's building to smash it into what you would... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and we'll say the scene probably gets there with, like, clips hurtling towards the earth of the camera and six <laughs> raccoons raising their arms. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So you also get a positive... I mean, yeah, positive because that's what we have left. Do you feel like it went positively for you, Leon? I'm a raccoon now. <laughs> I mean, They've accepted me as one of their own. It, it's literally the best outcome that could have happened in this scene. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't think I died from, from being lowered, so we're good. Everything worked out. Absolutely. Um, okay. Are you all ready for some math and the tilt, as it were? Please. I'm so excited for this part. Yeah, you're, so, you're so excited for math? How this all goes. This is amazing. I'm more excited to watch you do math. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. So if you, <laughs> um, you have, actually, we all have a red and a blue card, a positive and negative. So if you want oh. to drag it out near your name... Um, you have to click on it, and then it'll show up in your little uh, cool section. Oops, there's mine. <laughs> Do 
just to reiterate, I cannot legally be asked to do math during Pride. No, no, of course. Is, okay. No, I believe yeah, me. Yeah, that's fair. I, oh good, did I, I might have forgotten to turn the tops on. Excuse me. You're only seeing the backs, not the, that was not a. Oh, I, I, if you right click, you can flip. Okay, cool. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, Okay. So I have a plus one and a, a plus one positive and a neg and a plus three negative. So that means that my total would be plus two negative. Correct. So we call that okay. a negative two red. A, a negative a negative two. Oh wait, no wait. Red is positive, right? I'm sorry. Yes, it's blue. So okay. it's a negative two blue. I like negative how you said blue, you yes. didn't do math and then you just did. Shit. All right, I'm out. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> I gotta go. No, Bye. please stay. Um, all right. All right. I have a okay. plus two red. Okay. I, I've got a plus five red and a plus four blue. Oh, man. All right. Mm -hmm. So that is a plus one red. So that's a positive. Yep. Um, positive. All right. So do I have to drag both out here? Uh, no, you're good. You're good for now. Okay. okay. And then what do you have, Leon? I see. I've got a plus three red. Dang. Okay. All right. So. How this works is the person who has, this is where the math comes in, the highest number in a positive and a negative, um, the two, those two people, um, uh, they pull uh, that card out. So, Katie, you have the highest blue number, so you're going to pull that blue one into the main mix, and we're going to use that. Okay. And then, Leon, uh, let's use your, uh, your red. Oh, boy. Should and we maybe talk about the positive one first? Uh, yeah. Also, if it's got something to do with like, if we can, if some, if we're also uncomfortable with it, we can pick another one too. Yeah, we're adults, so yeah. No, this one is just uh, unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> what's the positive one? Uh, <laughs> innocence. Somebody blissfully ignores the obvious signs. Okay, well that's interesting because my negative one is something precious is on fire. <laughs> Oh, um, back to you. <laughs> okay. All right. And so now we're going to do another, oh. we're going to do another set of scenes. Um, uh, due to, uh, uh, technical concerns, we might only get through one set and then we will do our aftermath, which is like sort of the, uh, the denouement of the stories. So, um, again, I'm sorry you all were fantastic in getting your characters created on time. Next time. OBS. Yeah, it's like gardening and sports. There's always a next time on streaming, mm -hmm. but like the you know the loop sounds long. All right, do we want to start right where we ended, or we we, we we could fire up in a in a meeting the next day discussing how <laughs> we're gonna further exploit the uh... the raccoon situation. The raccoon Ooh, situation. That's a and, good point. Branding. And, and, so does and... so do the tilts have to be like immediately there or do we have to get to them in our scenes in our scenes yeah okay cool thank you for clarifying that yeah for me. um okay uh i will agree graham if we're setting the scene up like you're setting up the scene could i also suggest okay. that we left oliver in the hole i <laughs> didn't i'm not coming out i'm a raccoon now okay, well you yeah. can't we can't get oliver out of the pit yeah yeah that's true yeah, the, can't the, pull the, 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 the thing only goes down yeah. and oliver it doesn't go back up like you can't get all the themselves pit. to mm -hmm. do the interview yeah all right, so, um, okay, uh, News Channel 6, News Channel 6. I've got champagne bottles. This is a celebration. 6 a.m. champagne. Champers, champers. Um, <sighs> wonderful job. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yes. Uh, Rick, thank you for coming back. Uh, we needed someone at the 4 a.m. hour. Nobody watches that. Um, thank you. Uh, yeah, your hair care segment went great, Rick. Everyone loved it. Mm -hmm. I had no idea I knew so much wig work either. Um, so, Sean, what would you say, Sean Johnson, would, what would you say if um, we made um, t-shirts about you and News Chopper 6? Well, of course, I'd be incredibly honored to have any sort of uh, News Channel 6 mixed paraphernalia made uh, featuring myself, the eye in the sky. However, uh, what I'm really concerned about right now is the fact that our cameraman is still in the bottom of that sinkhole, presumably surrounded by raccoons who are acting extremely strangely. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I have never seen a raccoon cult before, but I suspect that uh, that is what Oliver has found themselves in. So I That's... feel that perhaps we should concern ourselves with that. I hear you. 
I hear you with both of these ears. What I'm trying to do is maybe, you know, uplift the event we're currently experiencing. You know, take it and elevate it. That view of clips descending into the pit got <sighs> 2.5 million views in the last 24 hours. So many clips. We're talking so many media clips. gold, baby. Jimmy Fallon is weeping. The carpool karaoke is dead. And they crashed into a different sinkhole. No relation. No relation, um, actually, as far yes. as sinkholes go. But yes. we're thinking branding. So I'm talking you and cl like clips and the Johnston shirts, the raccoons on them, and then the, the, the helicopter. Which is all well and good. I am the Iron Sky. However, I have Oliver on phone, the phone right now. And they are, they Oliver! Need Oliver! Things Oliver. like water Oliver, how or do you feel about passive ladder. income streams for News Channel 6? I would feel a lot better if I could eat anything that wasn't Cheetos that were discarded behind the Albertsons. I don't know how these half-eaten Cheetos got here, but I do mean, that's all I've been... Maybe invest in a TikTok presence for us while you're yes, in the pit. Yes, 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 yes. A, a phone charger and a battery pack and also you know what that dropped in. do you remember when i asked for that that uh the helmet light you know the forehead light that would be really mm. really useful like the the screen yeah, yeah, is so black the, yes we well i totally remember that and i sent it in through budgeting lisa and budgeting was being an asshole tried to sell me, mm, tell me yeah no. she was like we don't but have enough petty cash lisa. we don't have enough petty cash i'm gonna keep spending it on champagne you're the petty cash lisa. yeah you're uh, so yes that's and we will check you out later. That's what we said. Because we, again, are sisters who are uh, large and in charge and here. Um, here's the thing, Clips. Clips, here's the thing. I've heard maybe a rumor that uh, Stacey Gibbs from Eleven is going to try and get into the hole. And I'm going to need you to stop that. And I'm just going to need you to stop that by any means possible. All right? No, no, no Eleven in the hole. No, yes. no, no, no Eleven in no, the hole. No, only six in the hole. Um Whole six? Yes. Uh, oh, there are six raccoons, so it's not <gasps> for News 11. It's for News 6. Channel six, six raccoons. Yes. Oh, my God. Ooh, ooh, we could do a mascot I've updated situation. our Twitter name already. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Do you have anything sharp that you could, in case News Channel 11 comes, you could sort of just jab in their general direction near their eyes? I could maybe sharpen a couple of the Cheetos. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was wondering, maybe we could name the raccoons. I thought that that would be... Nice. Remember, this is journalism. We're supposed to be impartial. So, uh, excuse me. This is content we are creating. You know who needs to name the raccoons? The viewers. The viewers. Yes. Well, quite honestly, at this point, you may as well put GoPros onto the raccoons' heads and see how that goes. But we still need to do something about the fact that Oliver is trapped in the bottom of this sinkhole. Oh, I'm not trapped. He... I like it here. With okay, the raccoon pulse, well, that's clips, there, but that is All right, now I'm with there. you. I'm with you, La Johnston. Maybe we need to get clips out of the sinkhole. I, I think that's where we ended, is just clips. And like, <laughs> I live here now. <laughs> I know, yeah, but yeah. All right, uh, so <laughs> how do we think that went for Graham? Or uh, for uh, for Sean La Johnston? Well, I mean... I think, I think or that, that, honestly, was that, my, was that I, my scene? Whose scene was that? I don't I, know. I, 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 th I think it was my scene. Think... And honestly, it's on a knife's edge. Because on one hand, almost no action taken. On the other hand, finally acknowledgement, maybe we need to get Oliver out of that hole. Yeah. <laughs> just, at the end, just at the end there. Total and complete hole acknowledgement. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> we are paying attention. We are giving all of our attention to the hole. <sighs> Why are you, are you okay? Is everyone drinking? Yeah, a, no, I just um, a hot beverage or something that went down the wrong. Whole acknowledgement wasn't on my bingo card for today. So. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, stick with stick with me, kid. My bad. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, <laughs> okay, is this a plot hole? Very nice. Uh, this is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna say that we probably, or I don't know. I have a scene. If someone, unless someone wants to go, take it. Okay, I think the chopper cleaners need to be the extraction team <laughs> to help <laughs> so still in their same gear though like um it they're, they're actually called suds and buds um and they wear tank tops that are cut all the way to the uh um the belt line uh and very uh very good daisy dukes um yeah uh and uh yeah so um we're like gathering them up and then yeah uh to 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 help start the extraction uh and maybe news, oh, maybe news channel 11 or action team 11 shows up. So 
I, uh, I, uh, I actually brought my, uh, my, uh, tactical vest that still shows my nips from my other gig. You! Uh, I think I'm looking really good to be part of this, uh, rescue team. Oh my goodness. What was it? Um, Matt? Chad? Raf. Chad? Raf. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, they're all Rafs. You're all Rafs. I'm so sorry. Um, oh, no. The, I, okay. Uh. <laughs> I'm Rafonso, and that's Raphael. We still both go by Raf. Oh, love um, it. Yes, yes. It's easy it's for me. Sort of. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, are you a yes or a no on the tactical vest that still still shows my nips? Are we where I, did we land? Uh, I am a yes. All right. So we're being uh, lowered down from the helicopter. I don't think. Um, uh, Sean, Sean, Mr. Ladonson. Yes. How many? Your eye in the sky. Yes. How many of these studs and buds, uh, uh, studs can you fit on Action Chopper Six? Well, Action Chopper Six is a surplus uh, Huey helicopter from Vietnam. It does have some capacity. However, I'm just throwing this out there that it still smells like lavender, and there are some strange things happening with controls. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with the <laughs> unqualified people who are cleaning it. However, I have concerns. By the way, I want you to know that I took your feedback because I'm a real I'm a real goat, like I'm a real self-starter. I took your feedback about not being technically licensed to wash the helicopter. I watched like four YouTube videos about it. And I'm feeling much more qualified. Raph, what? Nips and brain? <laughs> I know. How do I do it both? Hmm. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, well, it sounds good to me, Sean. Sean, I'm just a really big fan of your work. I'm here to learn from you today. So, like, tell me, you know, you make the right, calls, well, you need me in the pit, I'm in the pit, you need me to, like... We can fit approximately five people, on, or approximately six people on this helicopter safely and be able to lower you into the pit using using a single line. All right, all right, well, uh, everyone get on, there's actually seven, I'm sorry, that's what we have to do. Um, but, uh, that's fine, that's fine. I don't count, I wait nothing. All right, well, up we'll go, then. Hang on, everybody. This is Sean LeJohnson, your eye in the sky, taking off with an overloaded helicopter. We're going to be hovering above of a sinkhole filled with a raccoon cult in an effort to rescue our cameraman, Oliver Clips, who's been down there for two days now, subsisting on Cheetos, Cheetos that have been recovered from a pharmacy dumpster at some point. We're not sure of their condition, but that's what they've been living on. And we're going to be lowering these people in one by one, or possibly in a group, depending on how they decide to the exit the aircraft, because apparently I have no control over this at the moment. So like going live to you, Lydia, on the ground. Well, how's, how are things looking down there? Hello, here on the ground, staring here at the edge of the pit. Clips, hello. <laughs> as soon as the, uh, I guess when you say clips, hello, and the, the sons and buds are being lowered, you see this like large ball of trash just come flying out of the sinkhole as though it was catapulted. I'm I want to channel 11 have this! <laughs> Stay out of my hole! And I think as we're lowering, we see that the suds and buds have pulled out little GoPros on their heads with channel 11 branding on them. <laughs> oh, no! oh no, Raps! The Raps, how could you? Um. All right, well, this is uh, Sean LeJohnston, your eye in the sky with the Channel 6 helicopter. We have been betrayed by suds and buds who turned out to be reporters coming in from Action 11 News. Unfortunately, we're taking ground fire right now from the raccoons, and I'm forced to take evasive action. LeJohnston, are you brace, putting brace, 11s brace. in my pit? <laughs> and the helicopter just tilts wildly to avoid <laughs> getting hit by these crash balls. <laughs> And I'm not sure what's happening to people on the line. Yeah. Um. No, that, that feels like a good place to end that scene. Um, Before you end it, Lydia, oh, tell me, tell me, are you resolving? Oh, did no, I uh, I established the scene. I mean, it's. <laughs> well, I I want to know uh, if this is your scene and we're resolving it. I want to know. <laughs> If we lose any of the elevens on the line, yeah, you definitely lose one of the rafts because Lydia <laughs> stepped on their hand. Is so mad, and she's also wearing um, tactical stilettos. So uh, yeah, she is po'd. She is yeah. Um, she, right. she'll yeah never she'll act like she did, but you know they had a GoPro. <laughs> they were filming her foot coming like pushing down on there. So how does that work? 
That's great. That's great. You answered my every question. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So positive or negative for uh, old Lydia Lydia B? I'm gonna say this is probably negative. Yeah. 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 It, it, it was going positive for a bit, and then just just there's trash balls and mm-hmm. Channel Eleven and. All, right. All that footage of your foot coming down mm-hmm. towards them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Should we cut to a scene with Oliver in the pit with all the raccoons? Like, yeah, yeah. As like the the helicopters veering around, it's like, yeah. Um, Leon, or, did you want to set the scene, or did you want to resolve? Yeah. Um, hmm. You also got real quiet, so. Yeah, yeah. I think. I think Oliver, that was me trying to play somebody blissfully ignores the obvious signs. That that feels right. Everyone is channel 11 to him now. He can't tell. He's he's in the hole. He's in the 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 hole. Yeah, okay. No one else. So I think he is very like, if I'm going to establish the scene, he is basically training these raccoons for war. He's like, (laughs) will not let channel 11 in this hole. I like it. Yeah. I, 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 it's fantastic. Perfect. Okay. So, all right. So you're in there. Um, guess what? Sounds like a lot of us are going to be raccoons in this scene. Um, okay. So what are you, t- what are you teaching? My us? raccoon rate is actually a little bit different from my TTRPG rate. So just know that it just builds kind of separately. <laughs> oh yeah. Jaslyn, so. Jaslyn, I know you're on the call. Can you let, uh, can you let, uh, if invoices know that um yeah <laughs> yeah it's just, just like R- raccoon okay. rate yeah I'll cover difference. I'll cover the difference it's fine um, <laughs> yeah. um affirmative yeah I have that done yeah, thank, you, okay. thank, you, thank you thank you Jasmine okay all right um uh okay great great work Graham on the trebuchet wonderful just like we practiced just fantastic. Jen, I'm gonna need. I'm Jen. I'm gonna need like six more of those trash cannonballs. If you could just, perfect, wonderful, great, Katie. Ah. Katie, you're the scout. <laughs> I, need you to, I need you to look. We can't trust anyone anymore. We cannot. Oh. No, this is normal. This is fine. I, I just forgot that uh, you can't understand me unless I. Katie May the raccoon comes and uh, draws uh, scratches into the dirt at your feet. Three letters in English W A R. That's it. That's. Katie May the raccoon gets it. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. Oh, uh, Jen the raccoon comes and draws a phallic symbol in the dirt to underscore the war. <laughs> that exactly. Channel eleven. They're dicks. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Stuff Thank coming you. out that looks like an eleven. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, all right. Okay. Um, all right. Inspiring speech. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I've only known you for 48 hours, <laughs> but I named you and <clears throat> we've done the Macarena like 20 times over the last 48 hours. <clears throat> so I feel like we get each other. All of my years in zoology, wildlife videography courses in college did not prepare me for what real life animals who are definitely not being drugged by an Albertson pharmacist. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to save this sinkhole from channel 11. And he raises a tiny, tiny Cheeto sword. And he goes, or die trying! <laughs> and then he will send off a text message to Lydia that's like, hole secured. <laughs> and she sends the she sends the emoji back of a manhole cover and like a thumbs up. 
Uh, yeah, and that feels like a good end for that scene. So, how do we feel like that went for Oliver? That's positive. I mean, positive. The, the positive. outcome is going to be terrifying. But yeah, the, yeah. I mean, absolutely. That, yeah. So, um, yeah, that felt amazing. So I think this one's going to be our last full scene. Um, but we're all involved, which is great. Uh, and then we will do the aftermath if that's okay. So just um, and it is Katie, your scene to okay, uh, cool. Set up. I think I this skipped somebody. I'm pretty sure I didn't. We started with Graham, then me, then yeah. no, I think it might be me. Yeah, we we did. We got through a whole cycle. Yeah. <laughs> then I want to start with just Le Johnston in my office. Oh, I think that's where we'll start, and I'll set it, and you all can resolve it. And then we'll, I will, I assume we'll get other people in as it involves. Le Johnston, uh, come in, please take a seat. Of course. What can I do for you? Yes. Um, do you know that there are uh, laws? <laughs> I'm well aware there. there are a number of laws. Yeah, there are quite a few. I was actually, I was actually looking at that earlier today. Uh, Books filled with them, in fact. Full, full with full. experts called lawyers. Yes, uh, we should get one of those probably. I was looking at laws sort of after that accident we had with one of the uh, imposterous uh, Channel Eleven slimes. Uh, you know, he's in the hospital. Don't know how he's doing. Um, but while I was looking at laws about that, I actually found out that there are worker laws that sort of dictate that I can't keep an employee working for like more than 24 hours at a time. That is absolutely correct. And part of why I was trying to get Oliver out of that pit. Yes, However, we need clips out of the pit. Yes, clips yes. out of the pit. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to need you to take your little helicopter and flip the little reverse on going down but not up. Or I don't know, get a rope. Ropes are pretty good for that. And I'm going to need you to get clips out of the pit. Well, unfortunately, I'm the only person left in the station who's qualified to fly the New 6 helicopter. So in order to get... Oh, oh. Lydia, great. Come on in. Hello. Hi. Lydia, I have great news. Champagne. Champagne for mm. everybody. Mm. I'm going to set this champagne down because uh, we should not be drinking and you should not be drinking because you're going to go get clips out of the pit and Le Johnson's going to take you because I will not send Ryan. Ryan's hair 4 a.m. thing is actually performing better than we thought. So oh, is he is he taking is he taking over the six no. hour? Well, no, that's, that's your, your... No, that's and I it would be <laughs> over my dead body. I um, oh, I can no. arrange it. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, Lydia, you are going to the pit, so, so how about so you sit up, get ready for pit going? Pit, okay. About... Um, well, well yes, you... question. question. Well, I mean, there's still the questions about the tragic crash slash cruise around uh, Mama Betting Fields. Uh, sudden departure from uh, this mortal coil. And in addition to that, um, I honestly think that both of you would be best served to work together to get Oliver out of that pit. Think of it this way. This will be the sort of media coup de grace you need to push Channel 6 News into the next level. Two sisters working together, lowered into a pit to rescue a cameraman. And Are you trying out. to take our jobs? Absolutely not, madam. I'm trying to make Channel 6 the finest news channel it could possibly be. And the finest way it could possibly be made that news channel is by lowering the two of you into a raccoon pit to rescue a cameraman. Natasha. Yes, Lydia. Do you remember when we were children, when we were definitely sisters together? We were definitely um, sisters together That's how children. sisters work. Yes, um, yes. And we used to, ooh, we used to, um, we used to be in those commercials together. Um, mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. We looked on camera. Mm, yes, I uh, find uh, it. Like boom yes. shot, boom shot, boom shot. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, we yes. I mean, Mary Kate and Ashley asked us to be their stunt doubles. We said no, no. If we're, of course not. We're clearly dockhead individuals. So <laughs> <laughs> um, dye my hair for you, Ashley. I'd rather rot. Yes, and watch it. Um, no. Uh, we should do this. And and. and uh, <laughs> Lydia puts her hand on top of Natasha's, and which maybe they actually never touch, <laughs> which is weird to people since they're sisters. Totally sisters. Mm. Okay. Um, 
This is compelling. I understand the story and the sort of drive behind it. Uh, that does leave only Ryan and Linda in the office, and I hate them both equally. Linda is terrible, but what if we took away her petty cash key? All right, I'll do it. But this is, I'm the face, so face protection oh, no. is sort of a high priority here. Oh, so you need you need makeup? I can help you with your makeup. I don't need, uh, I don't need makeup. I just oh. need to not become disfigured by this event, my heroic rescue no, of, of all of the No, of course, clips. we would never, absolutely not, absolutely not. You will be, you'll be very fine. You'll be fine. Last thing I want is to be switched with Ryan because I have a scar above my left eyebrow. No, honey, we would just give you bangs. Or that will give you street cred, one of the two. However, I know, I know. I you feel would that we need die. to focus I'd rather on rescuing poor dead. Oliver. Meanwhile, he's, I'm Johnson is sending Oliver a text. It's like rescue coming. When they get into the pit, just grab the line. Oliver Trust responds, me. I taught them six TikTok dances. Excellent. <laughs> I do have great news, though. Clips is doing great. We have three million followers on TikTok already. <laughs> oh, look, everyone's duetting with them, too. Oh, yeah. they're dressing up. Look at this one. He's in a little raccoon costume. It's oh. like he's the seventh raccoon. Oh, my gosh. Look, a white woman is preparing a raccoon feast uh, with her hands on a marble countertop. Oh, oh just that's my favorite it. Just, trend. Oh, she's looking yes. at her touch it. Oh, she's touching the hot no, Cheetos not, from the back of the Albertsons. Yeah, she's not <laughs> washing her oh, hands at all. Oh. She was not washing her hands afterwards. Oh, I love goodness. that for her. Yes, she's putting stuff right in her... Mm. Look, okay. Johnson, this is going to be the job of your lifetime. Is this telling me... If you're telling me that you're capable and ready to uh, go on this rescue mission? Absolutely. We can fire the helicopter up right now and be there within five minutes. Okay. Do you need I... fifteen to get ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we are. We were born ready. Born ready. Together. Ready. Born together. Fantastic. Ready. Fantastic. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Together. Very. Not, again, not twins though. <laughs> no. Just <same. laughs> different times. <laughs> Thank you for asking. And uh, okay. I think we can. Yeah. I mean, so you tell yeah. me how this scene resolves. Um, Le Johnson's plan because he genuinely loves uh, Channel Six News is to lower the two of you who have been spending our entire budget on hot dudes to wash the uh, helicopter and <laughs> champagne in the morning into the pit. It was it was an and... all-gender suds and buds, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gender-inclusive suds gender and buds. Sorry, yeah, gender-inclusive yeah. suds and buds. <laughs> um, and the minute you two let go of the line to go rescue uh, Oliver, Oliver's going to grab it, and he'll just pull up and just sort of leave you two with the raccoons to... <laughs> <laughs> It's the only thing he can think of to save the station. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Oh, that is. So, will we play that scene as aftermath, or is the aftermath <laughs> we, a separate scene? We could play it as the aftermath, absolutely. Yeah. But okay. let me deal you your last negative card, and then we do a little bit more math. Um, oh yes, I also think that um, the helicopter needs to set on fire at some point. So oh, absolutely. Just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let's we'll... just all get ready for that one. Uh, I, I feel that's why we can't lower a line down to rescue um, Lydia and Natasha is because the helicopter is on fire. <laughs> oh, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's like got, just so got all over right. right. right, <laughs> right. it. Like... All right. So you should have uh, one more card each, uh, positive or negative. And if you want to take it out and flip it, and then you will add everything up, all your cards. Uh, and don't forget, Katie, you put a blue card in the middle. And Leon, you put a red card in the middle. So we can just pull those back in a little bit for you. Okay. Um, I've got a red, I've got a negative five, like a red five. And then I've got uh, blue, a blue four and a blue three. So that's I've got a, a, true, a blue two. Okay. I've got a true zero. Oh, all right. Ooh. So I'm up, up by two, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've got a net zero. <gasps> zero Both bonus. of you. Okay. And I have 
Oh. Um, I have a red five. <laughs> and that was a blue two for Graham. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, here we go. Make that screen bigger. All right. Can everyone read theirs? Mostly. <laughs> The blue two is uh, mine. Yeah, the blue two is yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> All right. What cost did I save the station by? <laughs> All right. Do you want to start that scene, and then we uh, <laughs> you can uh, use these aftermaths as part of it. Um, and, and players at home, you can, um, the aftermaths, again, you can make it as a scene, or you can just sort of describe it in a couple sentences or less. Um, it's, uh, it's up to you. So, but I uh, feel like we could, yeah, this is maybe- A final this, scene at the pit. Yeah, this is like, like the cut scene, like in the middle of the credits. So, yes, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you have just lower, okay. Oh, what are we wearing, first of all? Natasha. Ooh, Natasha, what sister sister outfit? Some sort of like all white and then all black, or like you know, like we're, we have like a dominant color. The other one's wearing as like a you know, an accent color. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm thinking like uh, cat suits with the channel six look. <laughs> uh, is it like yeah. a six over each breast or just one? Oh like, please, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cool. Um, um, and I think they were made like in the five minutes that we had, so like they're bad. They're not oh, good. So there's even like strings of like hot glue trailing yes, off of them. Okay. You get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which also melts to the acetate, so they're also like starting to like rip apart slowly. Okay, great, great, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, we have multiple phones attached to our thighs, like ammunition, um, so we mm. can uh, we can keep taking social media, like and you know, like um, yeah. All right, so your GoPro is on, my content. GoPro is on. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I've got jerky in the pocket <gasps> as a defense mechanism against the raccoons. That is so good. I just have another Thank mini you. bottle of champagne. <laughs> Who knows? They could love a drink. Who um, doesn't love some bubbles? Le Johnston. Keep That's me, your iron me sky. alive. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. That's the main concern. Also, probably Lydia too. But keeping me alive is I, I, absolutely. I will keep. I'll the tell you face. something. After you moved us to this new tri-weekly check system, yes. your best uh, interests have been nothing but my own. Thank now, let's you. Let's lower you two into that pit to rescue Someone all. Of finally it. gets it. Mm -hmm. Do you, can you tell me how long Linda yelled at me? God, <laughs> Linda. <laughs> She's uh, the worst. We should I fire her when we get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll <laughs> fire Linda. We'll fire right. Linda when we get back. Um, all right. Um, anchors away. Can we say that in the air? Air anchors uh, away. You can say whatever you want. It's like a mama betting field is here. <laughs> now remember, when you get down to the bottom of the pit. Anchors away. <laughs> yes, it's her. As she got dragged under the sea with that anchor. Oh, dear. Well, I'll forget that I heard that at all, and I'm going to lower you down into the pit now. Remember, when you get down there, release off the line immediately for safety. You never know how raccoons will act. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Okay. As I hear the chopper above the sinkhole, I like look back at all the raccoons, and I'm like, it's been an honor serving with you all. Jen, Katie May, Graham, Cheeto Joe. <laughs> I didn't name I didn't name the last two. I just I'm very bad at names, but Jesselyn. <laughs> Jesselyn. Dylan. No. And Dylan. Thank you. Thank you for for everything. I will here's what I'll do. And he he puts his phone down in front of them and he, he's like, here is the password and he like scratches the TikTok username and password into <laughs> into the dirt of the sinkhole and says, add me <laughs> at Oliver Clips. Uh, well, I'll do at you. It'll be like I never left. Uh, Jen the raccoon says yes. Cheeto Joe says no. <laughs> <laughs> no, Cheeto, no! She goes, Cheeto just goes, numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's ready to go mm -hmm. yeah and that's when you see it like probably a pair of uh stilettoed catsuit heels drop into the pit 
uh, as uh, Lydia, Natasha. <gasps> oh, 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 boy. Oh. Oh, thrilling. I sang Brittany all the way down. Um, oh, clip immediately. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, clip, clip. We're here to rescue you. Yes. Hey, thank you, Miss Weddingfields. I, uh, I really, really appreciate it. I just thought that you might want to meet the six raccoons who who made your news. Oh, I was following the TikTok. So you have your Katie, Katie well, You should thank their tiny little raccoon hands. Mm -hmm. With jerky. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what, you, Lydia? I'll I'll do it. I'll do it. You videotape. You videotape. It'll yeah, be yes. like uh, um, it'll be like they're meeting the president. Uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, clips. Just hold up to my line while I go and yeah. shake the hands mm -hmm. of, the, of the little black. And am I and am I getting a vibe from Cheeto Joe? Should I go once, in? Should I? Once, once I once I see I the line stop being slack, I just bring yeah. the helicopter up and just lift <laughs> all of her out. Wait. And then as as we're going sideways, just oh oh no. Essential yes. oils in the control system. Ah! Burnt lavender. Catches. <laughs> yeah. Clips, you see, you're flying through the sky. You see flames above you. Yeah, yeah and then you see uh, uh, your six uh, recruits not mixing well with your bosses <laughs> as like a, a raccoon swarm takes them down. And you hear, not the news channel six jumpsuits. Don't worry, Clips. <laughs> I'll get you to the local pond. Brace. Brace for a Brace for a Oh, God. And that pond. And I think we see. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I think we see at the pond, um, like, uh, Channel 11's just filming, like, a lifestyle piece about old retirees. Yeah, and, like, yeah. the two retirees are, like, standing in front of the pond. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the helicopter just comes crashing uh, into it. Yeah. Just... Yeah. And then the Suds and Buds guys go. They're like they're like doing like rock scissors paper to see who like swims out there and helps you. <laughs> <laughs> they just keep best out of three, best out of five, like. <laughs> and I think that is where, yeah. And then it's like the news channel six logo, <laughs> doo -doo -doo. like yeah, in and out, and then like our credits roll. But there's like question marks after every name because are we alive? Oh, <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Oh. Wait, so with the five, who got the five? What's your what's your resolve? Oh, oh tell my, me about your epilogue. Uh, yeah, I would say my lesson is that I, <laughs> again, I'm desperate. So I try to um, uh, turn the raccoons into, um, like, they already had their own thing, but I try again to brand them and, like, do merch. <laughs> but they keep destroying the merch, so I keep sinking all the money I got. Uh, and I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to live above them and create a dance floor, like a see-through dance floor on top of their caverns. But people don't want to dance above a raccoon trash hole for some reason. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Why won't anyone come to the club? Um, you know, and they throw their feces up. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> Yeah, so then uh, we would look at the two, uh, if we go in the line, uh, the two, uh, Natasha and Oliver, what do these zeros mean for you? I think I come to sense when I am attacked by a raccoon because of the Slim Jims in my pocket. And, um, you know, I start talking about wanting to come clean. So you have nothing left to do but to frame me for the murder of our mother. <laughs> So you can keep the enterprise to yourself. And so I think that's where I live my days. Oh, um, doing oh. the raccoon TikTok dances from jail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As I burn the money epilogue. away. Yeah. Here's yeah. the thing. I desperately wish right now that I could play this tilt card that I got. Because my tilt card is innocence. The wrong person gets busted. <gasps> <laughs> oh no! That's oh me. no! <laughs> so what, hap what happens to Oliver? I think that um, you have to liberate the raccoons. <laughs> well, I think the problem is that Oliver. Um, well, the first problem is the raccoons don't text back. Like that's the that's worst so thing. upsetting. That's Even so they, upsetting some to me. Some of them said they would. Like the ones. Some of them said they would, and, and the other ones at least were wrong. honest about it. But th now those are liars. Right? Lying raccoons. And I think the other problem is, like, for the rest of his life, Oliver went to school so he could, like, go into the forest and, and take videos of wolves. And now he's just the TikTok raccoon guy forever. <laughs> you go to a Chili's and it's 
the uh, Tic Tac Raccoon guys here. Like they're like, hey, do the Macarena, and Oliver's like, God, no, no. Mm-hmm. They put like they stripe all your your food with like multiple sauces to make it look like a raccoon stripe. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, like, God damn it. Mm-hmm. Oh, the God. worst thing. All right, what, and what about you? What happens to Sean the Johnston? With that Sean fireball Le John- in the sky. <laughs> Sean the Johnston barely survives. That is the fire in the, the fire in the sky coming down as a, as a wreck into the pond. However, after recovering from that, it's revealed that he, in fact, was a plant by the people at Channel Eleven Action News. Son of a bitch. <gasps> who had been placed there specifically to try to take down the entire news team? <laughs> and as this comes clean, in his reputation in town is ruined forever, resulting in him being a cast a cast out from the rest <gasps> of society. Oh no! Always waiting though, always watching for another chance. <laughs> To be your eye in the sky. Mm, I love it. Oh, what a beautiful nightmare. (laughs) Oh, that was so good. Oh, thank you so much uh, for playing, uh, for having fun. Did you, uh, uh, you know, we'll do our outros. Um, We'll go in reverse. Who knows? We did it 4,000 times. Katie, we'll start with you. Um, Please let us know if you will be playing fiasco again you think after this um and where people can also find you on the internet if you're doing any other shows uh etc yes i'm katie may uh you can find me at uh twitter or twitch at uh ok katie may um right after this i'll actually be over on my twitch channel streaming um some session prep and some uh co-working and some uh turnip boy commits tax evasion which is honestly very fiasco energy um i definitely will be playing fiasco again i never played it until this day i didn't realize how pick it up and go it was i'm a dm for two games right now i have dm fatigue <laughs> and this is a great way to combat that so thank you for having me on this evening, Jen. It was such a delight. And so good meeting the other two fun people who you got to meet today. All good. It's so great. Thank you. Yeah. Such a pleasure to finally play with you. Um, Leon. Hi, uh, I've been Leon. You can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Virilion. Um, I, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. Fiasco is a very apt name. Uh, and sometimes you just, you just need things to go wrong. Uh, so I, I cannot, I, it really, it really is like when you're expecting them to go wrong and then they do, like I said earlier, I just, a game that lets me put something out there and say, I want, I want my character to get fucked up. Like (laughs) great game. Perfect. I had such a blast. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. And you, uh, you just had a new um, DM, DM's Guild supplement come out, correct? I did. (gasps) You are right. Uh, the Willy Boo and I very recently put out the build aware workshop it is uh you can find it on the dms guild it is a set of rules for both players and dungeon masters to build any type of lycanthropy that they can think of uh during play testing i think one of one of my favorites was somebody built a wear car like a war forged that turned into a car and we got through half of the dungeon during play testing by like jumping in the car blasting running in the 90s and speeding through the dungeon so <laughs> You know, That's anything awesome. that you, you want to do, any any creature or inanimate object you want to turn into, build aware has rules for that. There's some really cute pictures in there. Like, oh, there's like, I think it's a wear axolotl. Um, yeah, there's just, it's all good. So, um, yeah. Okay, Graham, what about you? Um, yeah. Uh, so, um, I I had a fantastic time tonight. This is the most fun I've had in ages. Uh, we we're all great to play with, and I I will definitely be keeping uh sean le johnston in my back pocket <laughs> uh for future misdeeds and uh <laughs> and nonsense uh, i would absolutely play this game again this is fantastic um so fast-paced so much fun uh so much ridiculousness and um i can be found as uh, as poc gamer um on twitter um i am finally using instagram more and i've got some games out with on uh gb uh, dw games um What's it? I've got uh, the inexplicably uh, people seem to love Fight City, the role playing game, which is an homage to side scrolling beat 'em up games um, from back in the day. It takes about like two minutes to make a character, five minutes if you want to think about it, and then you just take it to the streets. Um, <laughs> That's so cool. So good. Yeah, I love your games too, Graham. So, um, <laughs> uh, yes, and I have been Jen Vaughn. Um, thank you again to everyone in chat for sticking around. Uh, appreciate it. You know what? Next time, 
next time's the time. That's when, yeah. And I believe you. Yeah, you know what? That's all I got. Just improve every time. Um, uh, thank you again to Jazlyn, uh, my producer, for helping get these fantastic guests, and also for making those clips that you can find on Twitter um, over at Bully Pulpit. Um, and uh, you can, as you know, we have been playing. I. I don't. I did not mention it because I'm a cool person, um, and there was stuff. I, so we are. If you check the screen right now, we are playing an expansion pack that you can find here on Roll Twenty for nine ninety nine, and it includes a home invasion that I played last time with uh, uh, Jordan Shively, Isabella Price, and Robin Warren, as well as this News Channel Six one. And News Channel Six did actually win the March Badness uh, brackets as uh, the most favored favorite expansion of all the games so you can play this at home with your friends virtually you know because there's still this pandemic happening you know just stay inside play fiasco uh, it's better than an in life a real life fiasco uh is on my family crest uh so uh you can find uh, me online at uh, the genya uh, on Twitter and Instagram, uh, I am a narrative designer for a video game company called Very Very Spaceship. And if you want to watch this show again, we are here every first Friday from 5 to 7 p.m. Uh, details soon for our next guest. And uh, if you are into horror-based Dungeons & Dragons, I will be jumping over to another stream, uh, The Rising Hunger uh, with the Willy Boo, uh, uh, Leon's Bud. Sorry, partner. Sorry. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, <laughs> but. Your hang around, bud. Um, sorry. Uh, uh, as well as uh, Sage and uh, I'm forgetting everyone's name and Matthew Woodyard and uh, uh, Rihanna Elliott. So, uh, yeah, don't. Um, or what you do is you go to both Katie's stream and mine. That's what you do. Um, you can, you know, you can play them at the same time. You can mute oh, one. Man. But yeah, Adventure Man. So thank you again. And thank you again to Roll20 for having us on and to Bully Pulpit for the games. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you, chat. Have a good night. Uh, uh, and here, oh, here we go. Sign-offs for News Channel 6. Um, starting with you, Graham. What's your sign-off? <laughs> this has been Sean LeJohnston, your eye in the sky for Channel, for channel 6 News. Stay safe. Stay aware. How about you, Leon? <clears throat> I've been Oliver Clips. Follow that animal. Katie. I've been Natasha Bettingfield here at News Channel 6. And remember, the rest is still unwritten. Back to you, Lydia. Oh, and I have been Lydia B, an actual human being. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.